from the day i start watching the smart money i initially taking the notes observing the question and answers one day i approached the smart money program and express my biggest financial worries vivek and monica guided me properly unlike other show this show gives you a specific scenario it communicates and connects with the people that's the reason i got glued to it giving as such a beautiful simple uh, practical and uh, most effective uh, investment techniques i can say that smart money really helped me getting my money box in order i would like them to continue and best of luck for the future and really it is an excellent program every non financial people must view this program i just wish that they continue the way they are doing hello and welcome to this 50th episode of smart money on behalf of the entire team we take this opportunity to thank all our viewers who have stood by us and given us an overwhelming response in our effort in helping you manage your money smartly monica it's been a very what should i say overwhelming that's 50 right. weeks that's right i'm surprised i thought this was a business channel and people <laughs> in foreign cities are probably not into watching a channel which is relatively less known maybe in the hinterlands but our mail shows that uh, people across the country are watching uh, the show and the channel so it's been a really good journey and also a validation of some of uh, the ideas that we began with we said no tips we are not going to tell people what to do with 1 uh, lakh rupees or 2 lakh rupees or what stock to buy we are going to do a strategy based show we are going to do something which adds value we are going to do something which empowers people and simply from the kind of mails which come in i think all that has been achieved in 50 shows in fact it's yeah. very interesting to see that there are a lot of people out there who now genuinely want yeah. to understand the portfolio yeah. to understand yeah. the asset allocation and not just say which is the best mutual fund that's right. which is the uh, though we do right. get some mails yeah. telling yeah. us which stock to yeah. buy but i guess they need to go somewhere yeah. else they because this show doesn't else. do that that's yeah. right we do not get into but there seems to be an awareness isn't it among yeah. among people that's to right. want to actually manage their money better yeah and it's good to read the mails which already have done so much of the homework so when we started the show we would get sort of very confused uh, mails about yeah. products and what they wanted to do it was garbled and now after 50 episodes we get such beautiful mails with they've understood the concept of what a money box is what basic products are so they will peep, all the viewers will list out the products that they have already and say that okay this is my money box you know that concept of all these go it's not just a stock which is going into your money box it's also a medical policy it's also a life policy it's also a householders policy you know so that is really very encouraging and i think one of the best mails that i can remember in this uh, to do with the money box was this person who wrote in saying that you sent me the form so we send forms to people we think you know whose questions are chosen and they fill in their details and they send us back the information and he said it took me 6 months to compile all of that and i'm writing into you but i want to tell you that i'm already feeling much more control just the process of collecting documenting putting down all my financial financial life financial things has made me feel much more empowered and that's really the purpose of our show to empower the people who are watching i want you to talk a bit about uh, the <clears throat> whole money box uh, concept and the emergency fund concept because these were two concepts that I heard you talk a lot about pretty That's much right. in context That's to every right. query that came. That's right. So, you know, the one sort of mindset I wanted to break very 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 hard is to think that managing money is just about investing. In my world view, investing is the last step. The first step is creating something called an emergency fund. A lot of us feel fear in our places of work because we don't know it's it's really, you know, jobs are not secure anymore. a lot of worry about your everyday sort of life is about what will happen if there's an emergency what will happen if i lose my job now if you've created this an amount of money and you've labeled it emergency fund you know not dipping into it to buy uh, whatever some gadget or something else that money is labeled it's called an emergency fund i think you're able to take many more risks with what you want to do and you're able to be much more secure about your own life 
So that's a concept a lot of people have really understood very well. So that's your first thing that you do in your uh, money box. Mm -hmm. So products come much later. And that, it's good to know that people have understood this whole thing of emergency funds first. Mm. I told you to get a patent on it. Did you do that? Ah, no. <laughs> <laughs> this is open source. It's for open everyone. Open source. Okay. <laughs> so what's the guru in you saying? Oh, God. What, what's, what's the life <laughs> question about money? It is embarrassing, but I will still answer that. Okay. The guru speak is that mm. money is a force. And we should understand what it can do. We are the trustees. So it is there for our need, but not greed, for use and not misuse. Well said, Monica, like always. Let's take a quick break here. On the other side, we tell you how to choose the correct MediClaim and what can act as a comprehensive guide to help you make that informed choice. Keep watching Smart Money.